Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable pumpkin basket. It's a very easy and fast project. The pattern is suitable for beginners as well. And we're going to use this type of yarn, it's a t-shirt yarn. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need a t-shirt yarn, color and brand of your choice. I'm using this paint box recycled t-shirt. It's a 90% cotton and 10% synthetic. The color that I'm using is bold orange and uh, is a number six uh, super bulky yarn then you're gonna need a crochet hook m n nine millimeter a yarn needle and a pair of scissors we start with a slip knot and we're gonna chain 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 we start in the second chain from the hook this is our first we start in the second and we make one double crochet We're going to need to make other six double crochet, one in each chain. So we have one, two, three. four five six and seven Now we're going to make three alpha double crochet in the next th three chain. One alpha double crochet, two and three. In the next two chain, we're going to make a single crochet. One and two. And in our last chain, we're going to make a slip stitch. And that's what we have so far. Now we chain one and we turn our work. From now on, we will start to work in the back loop only, which is mean here. This is your stitch 
this little V here, we're going to work in the back loop here. We're going to go backwards with our stitches. It means that if we finish here with a slip stitch, we're going to start with a slip stitch. So we're going to make in the back loop a slip stitch. So here we have two single crochet. We're going to make two single crochet in the next two. Here we have our three half a double crochet and we're going to make three half a double crochet. One, two, and three. Then you remember that we started with the seven double crochet and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to make our seven double crochet. like so. Now we're going to chain one and we turn our work and it, we proceed in the same way. So we start, we working again in the back loop only and we go backwards in our stitches. So we finish with a double crochet and we start with a double crochet. And we're going to make other six double crochet. Total, we will have a seven like we did in the first row. Then we will make three half double crochet, then two single crochet, and one slip stitch. And you will continue back and forth the same stitches for 22 rows. I'm going to complete my 22 rows and I'll meet you there. I finished my 22 rows and now we're going to sew the two parts together. We're going to leave uh, like a uh, 30 centimeter or 12 inches long yarn I like to sew the two parts in this way you can choose the sides that you like actually because they are pretty much the same see it doesn't change but the important things that I like it is that I want this side with a knot where we start on one side and the other where we start so the two pieces in this side. So I'm not going to make any knot here because I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to use my yarn needle which is a, a 14 size I think 
I like those better because the other with the big plastic loop they break easily okay so what I'm gonna do here is this we're going to pass with our needle here down here those uh, spaces it's not a real defined here stitch we're gonna go underneath here on this side and we're going to pick up this loop on this side so I'm gonna start from here I'm gonna pass underneath here like so then we're going to pass only in this part here like so and then we go back finish all until here I will meet you here almost finished here we have the part where we have the knot I like it to undo this we don't need it when it's too big so we can just take it off and leave it like this we finish we go here we pass through the other side and so we will have the two sides that we can connect together at this point we can make two knot To secure our basket like so now we're going to weave the end I like to do it in the flat part of our stitches here and here so it will be less visible the other side
that's good enough for me. I'm going to cut the excess. Now we're going to close this one. We're going to cut another piece of uh, yarn, like a 30 centimeter or 12 inches. And we're going to close our pumpkin basket. Okay, I'm going to do uh, on the flat side, not here, but here and here, just this one, but on the flat side of our work. So I'm going to start from here. Next one. The next one. I'm gonna do this all around. here and we can start stretch our two strand and close our pocket. You can flatten up if you like it's easy what it's easier for you is okay now we're going to make a few knots like so and then we're gonna weave our hand like we did before hiding in the flat part of our pumpkin and I will meet you when I finish to weave my hands okay I finished to weave my hands and I'm going to cut the excess We can turn the bottom of our pumpkin. Give them a little bit of shape, and there you have it. And now we're going to make the lid. To make the lid for our pumpkin basket, we're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine. We start working in the second chain from the hook. 
and we're gonna make two slip stitch, one in each chain. One and two. In the next two chain, we're going to make a single crochet. single crochet, two, single crochet. In the next three chain, we're going to make three half double crochet, one in each chain. This is our first half double crochet, our second, and our third half a double crochet in our last chain we're going to make a double crochet and that's how it looks like we're going to chain one and we turn our work. So like in the previous pattern, we're going to work in the back loop only. See, this is your stitch. We work in the back here, here, here. And we're going to work backwards. So we finish with a double crochet and we start with a double crochet. So we make one double crochet. Then we did before three half a double crochet. And that's what we're going to do now. One half a double crochet two and three like so then we did before two single crochet here we have a one single crochet and and our last two are slip stitch so one slip stitch and two and that's what we have so far we chain one we turn our work and we proceed like we did before. We do stitch on the stitch backwards. So we had before our last two were, were um, slip stitches. So that's how we start. First one, slip stitch. Second, slip stitch. Then two single crochet, one and two, and then three half a double crochet, and you continue in this fashion back and forth with the same stitches for 22 rows. And I will meet you when I finish my 22. I finished my 22 rows and now we're going to sew the two parts together like we did before. This way. We're going to leave uh, 30 centimeter or 12 inches yarn and 
we don't need to make a knot here we're gonna sew the two sides like so put this side on this end and this in the other hand Of course you can choose the sides, they are pretty much the same like we saw before. And there is we're going to work underneath here. Here and here, and we're going to work in this loop here. So start from the first. I will finish to sew the two sides and I will meet you when I come here. I'm at the end, almost done. I'm going to do my last here. Like we did before, I like to undo this knot we don't need. And a little bit like this. Here you go. So we have our two sides that we can tie together. We can make two knots. like we did before we're gonna weave at the end in the flat side of our stitches here, here. I will meet you when I'm done I finished to weave the end I'm gonna cut the excess that we don't need Now we are going to close this part. We're going to cut 30 centimeter or 12 inches long yarn. Here we're going to pass our yarn in the flat side of our stitches here, here, here.
until we meet the other side. can start close our lead the best we can and if you want to decorate in a different way you just close all the way up but in this case because we're going to uh, make a steam we don't need it to close perfectly all the way we just secure with two knots going to weave at the end like we did before and I will meet you there I finished uh, my lid I weave at the end and now we can turn and that's how it looks like you can leave it flat if you like on top of your pumpkin or you can give it a shape a little bit rounded like so now we're going to make the steam. You can make it the same color if you like, like I did in the pumpkin that I show you, or you can make it brown or you can make it green. I'm going to use in this occasion some green. Is the same yarn, t-shirt yarn. The brand is the same paint box and I'm going to use a different crochet hook which is this one is a seven millimeter crochet hook so what we're going to do we're going to make a slip knot and we're going to chain five one two three four and five we are going to slip stitch in the first chain we made From now on, we're going to slip stitch all around until we reach the size that we want. I'm going to show you. We slip stitch in each stitch we have available all around there's no need to chain to turn just go round and round that's how it looks like so far continue in this fashion until we, we reach the size that we want you can make the size you like the 
if it looks better for you. Just stitch all around in each stitch like that. That's what we have so far. At this point is a good time to hide this little tail in this knot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to undo this big knot here. And we're going to hide him inside. So we don't have to do it later, which will be a little bit more difficult to do. Okay. Now we don't have that knot anymore. We can hide our tail inside. and it's not visible anymore now you can leave it hang it out like this but if it bothers you you can just cut it off and you will be secure anyway and we are going to continue slip stitching all the way around like that and I will meet you when I have the size that I like I reached the size that I like it this is suitable for me it measure two and a half inches six and a half centimeter so at this point I'm going to cut the yarn and leave it a little tail so we can sew it on our lead going to sew this inside okay just need to try to secure our stem to grab a piece of fabric here and going back I'm going to make this pass here I'm going inside again and I'm going to grab another piece here and go back so it will be a little bit more secure course there's not a precise uh, rule to sew the steam you just try to make it 
stay the best you can. At this point, I'm going to make a few knots here. And then we can cut our yarn. We have our steam. You can give him a shape if you like. A little bit like that. And this is the lid of our pumpkin. And here we have our beautiful pumpkin basket. I think it's super cute. It makes a beautiful gift and it's very fast and easy pattern um, you can decorate like you want here on top for example you can put a ribbon or just decorate like i did with the other pumpkin that i showed you with just a simple twine and maybe a little tag if you have any if you like and you can make any size as well for example I made this one with another type of yarn which is the ribbon XL uh, by hooked um, is very good for basket as well not too soft and I decorated it with the twine I put a little cinnamon stick on top and a fake leaf you can find those in any store craft store or on Amazon and I assembled all together with the hot glue this is another alternative for decoration I made a small one with the same pattern. I used uh, two strand of uh, DK cotton yarn. This is adorable too. And I decorated it the same way. But you can make it even with the worsted weight yarn. Number four, like this one, I used uh, the worsted weight number four and a 4.5 five millimeter crochet hook I think they are just adorable well I hope you liked my video and I hope it was useful to you and uh, if you like please subscribe to my channel see you next time bye